This is a video on how to calibrate your floating head. First, what you want to do is open up Mach 3. After you have opened up Mach 3, you hit the reset button to make your controls active. Now what you're going to do is come over to the table, have a solid piece of metal on it, bring down your torch to when it barely touches the material. Right there looks pretty close. Then you will come up here and hit zero for your z-axis. Then you go to diagnostics. You will see a input for digitize and this pin right here to the left of the green pin. That will illuminate when your z-axis micro switch engages for when it zeroes out. You're going to want to do page down now until you hear your micro switch click. As soon as it clicks you will notice the digitize and the pin to the left of the green pin will illuminate. That is your distance for your calibration. So now it clicked. Now we're going to come over here to program run. You will see right here the Z says 0.24 you don't have to worry about the other decimal places. 0.24 be close enough. After you've got that number, you now go to sheet cam. After in sheet cam, you're going to go up to options, machine, post processor, edit post. Make sure you're in the Premier Plasma CNC floating head. Edit post, maximize this. Now you will see here it says switch offset. Switch offset. So you're going to go back to Mach 3. Our number was 0.24. Go back to Sheet Cam. And we're going to type in 0.24 there. Then you're going to go up to the top left and hit the save button. And now you have successfully calibrated your floating head. Now if it does seem that your floating head is still too far away, the lower you have the switch offset number, the closer it is when it cuts. So if it is at 0.22, it will be 0 0.02 inches closer to cutting. If it's too close you will increase that number thank you